In a world increasingly defined by uncertainty and conflict, the United States continues to play a critical role in shaping global security. In a new development, Boeing has landed a $6.9 billion deal with the US Department of Defense to supply small diameter bombs. These weapons are meant to strengthen the defenses of key allies like Japan, Bulgaria, and Ukraine. This massive deal is part of a broader strategy by the Pentagon, aimed at boosting defense partnerships with countries facing growing security threats. For Bulgaria, this isn't just about military hardware. It's part of a deeper partnership dating back to 2006, when the US-Bulgarian Defense Cooperation Agreement was signed. Over the past five years, the US has invested more than $238 million in Bulgaria, not just for weapons, but for military training, cybersecurity, and much needed equipment upgrades. Japan, home to more than 50,000 US troops, is also receiving substantial support. As tensions with China continue to rise, bolstering Japan's defenses has become crucial. With Beijing's ambitions growing, the US sees Japan as a key partner in maintaining stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Then there's Ukraine, the largest recipient of US military aid. Since Russia's invasion, the US has poured over $56.9 billion into helping Ukraine defend itself. But this assistance goes beyond just weapons. It includes training, intelligence, and financial support that has been essential to keeping Ukraine in the fight. Recent US aid packages have delivered state-of-the-art equipment like HIMARS rocket systems and air defense systems. The US is even preparing to train more Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets as part of an additional $8 billion package. And despite what Russian President Vladimir Putin says, that Western arms won't change the course of the war, the US remains steadfast in its support for Ukraine. Since the war began, the US Congress has passed five major bills in support of Ukraine, allocating a total of $175 billion. Of that, $106 billion has gone directly to Kyiv, with the rest being used to support neighboring countries that have also been impacted by the conflict. As the war drags on, the complex web of alliances and military aid reflects the United States' broader strategy, one aimed at countering rising authoritarianism and instability around the globe. 